Hello, thanks for tuning in. My name is Jason Bird. This video is for somebody who might be interested in doing their very first obstacle course race. There are a bunch of different companies out there. There's Tough Mudder, there's Spartan, there's Warrior Dash. There's a ton of other ones, that, including local ones, uh, that you may be interested in trying out. I think they're really fun. One of the things that I like about doing them, I do the Tough Mudder. I do one every year. If there were ones closer, I'd probably do more of them, but Seattle is the closest one to me. If I could do them more often, I probably would because I really think they're fun. One of the things that I like about them is that it helps focus my training. So I'm not just strength training during the year. I'm not just doing cardiovascular training during the year just to do it uh, for, you know, general fitness or, you know, aesthetics, whatever. Uh, it helps focus my training to a specific thing, which makes my workouts a little bit more uh, focused and targeted. Uh, and it just makes training a little bit more interesting. Sometimes road work, strength work can get a little tedious, a little boring. Your music mix can only be so great. Having a little target out there, something to work towards, uh, makes things a lot easier. What I'm going to show you today is just some real simple, easy ways to get started. If this is your first time doing an obstacle course race, maybe you're already fairly physically fit, this would be a good place. These would be some good activities to start uh, incorporating. If you're, you know, if you've never done anything before, or you're really out of shape there would be a step down even from this. So, you know, this is for somebody who's comfortable with maybe a 5K race or a run or does a little gym work, does some strength training. You know, it has a has a base of, of, of fitness. These would be the types of exercises that I would encourage someone like that to do. So first off here, we just got a few little uh, shots of me uh, going along the trail here. And then uh, I just find a felled log, and we're just gonna, you know, go across and do some balance on it. Just gonna run across it like it's a balance beam. There's no danger here. If I step off, it's no big deal. I'm not gonna hurt myself. A lot of the obstacles will be geared towards balance, whether that's leaping across, say, you know, stones or platforms to avoid a water obstacle, or something like this where the log is just traversed across, say, an expanse of usually water that you would then fall into if you fail. So I know the in the Seattle course, one of the things that happens a lot is uh, the last time I ran it, it rained. And then also just the general obstacles themselves, uh, there's a lot of water on the course. Uh, that creates a lot of mud. Mud is very difficult to move in. It can be very slippery, very dangerous. Uh, so, you know, being comfortable on an uneven surface is going to be important. So balance is really important to work on. Along with that, you know, unstable surface or the uneven surface, I should say, is to just incorporate some trail running. Trail running is a great way to, uh, you know, make your runs more interesting. So if you're used to just doing some neighborhood jogs around, you know, your neighborhood on the nice flat sidewalks, that's great. Uh, but throw in some trail runs, it'll help train your ankles, your feet. Uh, your knees, your hips, for dealing with stepping on rocks, uh, holes, divots, uh, roots, things like that, you know, so that your, your in other words, your cadence uh, isn't as perfect all the time as it is when you're running on a road. You're going to have to shorten your step to get over a rock, a uh, log, something like that. This particular path here is real easy. Um, there's just a few rocks and holes and stuff. Uh, that's where I'd have somebody start something similar to this. This little park that I'm running at right now happens to be right next to an elementary school, which is where I go to then do some training for some obstacles. So this is what I call a playground workout, where you're going to do a lap around some area. Maybe you do a lap around the, the school or the neighborhood, whatever. This one just happens to be on some dirt trail, so that's great. And then I go into the playground area and then do the little activities in there. What you can see here is, again, just a felled log, and I'm just doing some hops. Uh, I think it's really important to work on some dynamic flexibility. And here I'm just doing some bunny hops up and down off of this log here. And that's really important. Uh, as an older runner, uh, one of the things that I worry about is, uh, is popping something. You know, I'm going to tear something, pull something. Maybe it's not some terrible injury, but it's going to nag me through the rest of the race. So, you know, I want to make sure that my calves, my Achilles, my, you know, my ankles, you know, feel good. 
uh, what you're going to find is that you're going to be tra traveling, say, a mile or three-quarter mile, and then you're going to come to an obstacle where you're going to be asked to, you know, get up over a wall. Well, you're probably going to have to jump, uh, or you're going to have to go, there's a big log, or there's, you know, maybe a series of ditches or something like that. You're going to have to, you know, move at a steady state pace, and then all of a sudden you're going to be asked to do some sort of explosive movement, whether that's sprint, you know, in order to get up, uh, curve the curved wall whatever it is your lower body needs to be able to be comfortable and familiar with moving at a steady state pace for a given distance and then ask to do some sort of an explosive movement briefly and not have it you know freak out after you've moved across a, a course of a lap uh, whether that's you know just jogging around the school or if there's some little park area like this that you can run through or something similar you're just going to run back to the the playground equipment and then here's where you're going to do a little bit of obstacle training so you're going to do a little bit of strength work and first off you know since most of the obstacles involve uh, some sort of a pulling exercise you're going to pull yourself up over a wall you're going to hang on you're going to pull yourself across the monkey bars you're going to pull yourself up out of the water Pulling is going to be really important. So just doing an arm hang is a good way to work on grip strength and just prepare your body for handling its own body weight in space. Maybe you don't do a lot of pull-ups in your in your own workouts. That's fine. Again, this is a good place to start. Just doing a body weight hang. Uh, we'll progress on and I'll show you different things that I'll do uh, as you get stronger and more capable of moving your body weight like that. But there I'm just doing a push-up, uh, just a simple incline push-up. There's nothing fancy about it. Uh, but uh, it's not a, you can do a full push-up obviously but again you know this is if you're just getting into this kind of work you're gonna be you know having have moved you know three four or five miles on your little course that you're running and then the idea is to stop periodically and do some sort of an exercise in between so even though these are incline push-ups there's nothing really terrible about these uh, the idea is just getting your body familiar with moving a set distance doing an obstacle or perform some sort of exercise and then moving on again and here i am back doing some more bunny hops just because i think it's really important and they're really simple to do you can do it on a curb you can do it uh, on a step that goes up to the slide maybe you know whatever you want to do but uh, bunny hops are good i just think that's a that's a good way to kind of prepare your body for those kind of activities so there you have it there's a really easy workout do a lap do a couple laps, however long your, your course might be. Go to the playground, do three or four exercises like these. I'll show you some different ones as we move forward. This will be the first one in a series. Uh, so next week I'll put out another video and I'll show you some more challenging ones. It'll be more like an intermediate. As you get stronger, you can build up to that. Doing some tougher ones as you get ready to do your obstacle course race. Thanks for watching. My name is Jason Burr. Uh, I really do appreciate you taking the time to come by. Please do subscribe, and I will see you next week with something a little bit tougher. Thanks.